Well guys, um, it is Wednesday and I forgot to do my Wednesday Q&A immediately after announcing that I was going to do a Wednesday Q&A. So this is going to be a Wednesday Q&A on, I guess, Friday? Start this off, dried ice cream sandwich. I don't think, if I have had one of these, it has been a very long time. This is supposedly an ice cream sandwich, but it's in one of those like dry packs. I don't know why the other day um, somebody asked about this, not in my comments, but someone still asked, and I was like, I have no idea if these are good or not, so we're gonna try it. This is a mountain house, and this is a ice cream sandwich. So something about this just sounds so wrong, but I've heard that they're good. It's not cold. It looks exactly like an ice cream sandwich. Uh, it's actually good. It tastes exactly like an ice cream sandwich. It's just not cold. It's like, it's almost like candy. It's not bad. It's actually really good. I have nothing to complain about this actually. It's really good. Okay, now that I'm done eating my ice cream sandwich, time to get to the actual questions. Some of these I've actually already answered personally to the person, but for the sake of the video, I'm still gonna answer them. Riley Finley asks, do you get much squeaking from the roof rack? Um, this is actually a really good question because this is the Smitty Belt roof rack, in case anybody's wondering, that's probably gonna be a question I'll get later down the road. But uh, this is the Smitty Belt roof rack, and when I bought it, I had a, most of the reviews and most of the people who have had this rack told me that, told me that this rack was gonna be very shaky, or they even showed me like they could grab the rear bar and just shake it and the whole rack would shake. Um, I personally haven't got any rattling from it. Um, if there is any, it's very minor. After I looked at some of the more expensive racks, I noticed a key difference that I think was the only issue this rack was gonna have and whether or not it would be super shaky or whether or not it would just, you know, work just fine. And for the most part, for me personally, I haven't had any issues since I added that feature. So to put it simply, no, actually it, it doesn't shake at all. And I've had twice the amount of weight up there than it probably should have on it without any issues. Z3 RO Ultra, I think I said that right, wants to know what basket I have on the roof. The roof rack basket is actually a custom built basket from JW Fabrications, that's Chef Wilsted down in Longview, Texas. He actually built and designed the rack for me, um, so it's completely custom built. Uh, if, I'm sure if you live in the area though, you can actually go to Jeff and um, if anyone lives around the East Texas area and he can definitely hook you up. He's a great fabricator. He actually was a fabricator and engineer for King of Hammers, so he knows what he's doing. Josh Nash, I think Nashe or Naske asks him if I go to Broken Bow often and also he wants to know what part of Texas I'm in. Um, um, so first he wants to know if I go to Broken Bow often. Um, I had never been to Broken Bow until very recently after my grandfather died. Um, my dad and I were planning on going there for a trip and that was the first time I had ever gone. Just now when I went here recently, this was the second time I had ever gone. Um, aside from that, no, I don't go often. He also wants to know what part of Texas I'm in. I'm assuming he asked, he's asking um, what part of Texas I was in because I live in my Jeep now, so I'm not really in Texas. To answer that question, Longview, Texas, it's right by Tyler. Um, that's where I came from, where I started off from, but for reasons I've mentioned in previous videos, I have no intention of returning there anytime soon. Backcountry Daily wants to know when I plan on going to visit. So Backcountry Daily, actually, I talk to him sometimes. He uh, has his own YouTube channel. It's, he's got a sick looking YJ and he um, he's supposed to help me build some fenders and stuff. Uh, he's in California though. I plan on going to California um, the last time I was out on the road and I never made it because I had some complications. I plan on visiting very soon. I want to get down there. Trust me, like if you were any closer, like I would already have visited, but Unfortunately, you're not. You're way over there. But right now, I'm trying to take it slow so I don't dig a big hole for myself and delay it any longer. That's why I'm trying to, you know, work on my channel and also, you know, make do DoorDash and stuff. 
Yaman1975 asks, is there a reason why you don't use a propane stove, hand grinder, French press, kettle? Okay, so my reason for not using a hand grinder and French press and kettle, um, so uh, I'm assuming he means a French press and a percolator or is he just asking if I use a French press? Um, so put it simply, I have a hand grinder. Um, the reason why I don't use it sometimes is because it's hard to get the perfect grind with a hand grinder. Um, mostly because of like my experience. I am like a coffee connoisseur. I do not do this. I do not do la um, regular coffee. I am very picky about my coffee. So usually when I get my coffee, I'll buy it from either Starbucks or if I can get to a coffee shop, I'll buy it from the local coffee shop because they usually have the best coffee. Stuff at the store is usually awful. Um, at, that is a last resort. Firstly, I'll go to a coffee shop. They'll have the best coffee. If they don't have the best coffee, second, I'll go to a local Starbucks because buying it locally and getting it ground, it's not the same as going to the store. And if there are neither of those in the area and I need coffee, I will just go to a store and buy whatever packaged coffee, but it's usually disgusting. There's different grounds for different coffees. So like if I get one for a drip coffee, like my regular coffee machine, it won't taste right if I use that in a french press because that's supposed to be a more coarse ground and then you have your pour overs which is they're very different grounds and trying to find the right one will greatly affect the coffee so i take it very seriously i do have a french press and i do have a um grinder but the main reason i don't use a kettle and propane stove and do coffee the normal way is because i am when i'm out camping i want coffee every single day in the morning i want like a pot of it well, French press is all right, but I, I noticed that if it's cold outside, it gets cold really fast. Um, actually, I'm thinking about buying a percolator. To put it simply, convenience um, is mainly my reason for not doing that, although I definitely think it tastes better. Um, in case you don't know, I have tried literally every method of making coffee that I know of up to this point, except for cowboy coffee, but I've done the French press, the pour over, I, I've tried it all, I know it all. I am a connoisseur of café. Ah, after lots of scrolling, I found the excellent question. Well, it, it was the first like legitimate question I found, but it's an excellent question. A. Rod Rodrig nine zero nine. I can't pronounce his name. I'm sorry. Um, he wants to know how many miles does Bonita have? And this is an amazing question. It's an excellent question. Uh, I have no idea. More than one hundred fifty something. More than, yeah. Um, her speedometer went out at 149,630 and that that's all I know and it's been probably 3,000 more than uh it's probably been almost 6,000 miles since then because I've done two oil changes but I, I have no way of tracking her mileage so more than 150,000 and that's all I know Ooh, ooh, ooh! this is a good one this is a good one uh Roy and Carol, you guys are gonna eat this one up. This is fantastic. So, on, on my video about working at the cabins, you know, um, Goatman, that, that, that's his username, it's Goatman. He wants to know how I could take money from them. Like, seriously, how? how? Roy and Carol, how could I take money from you? Um, I have no idea. I just wasn't raised right, guys. Like, I just see people handing me money, and I was like, I'm like, yes, give me money. You know, like I, I see money and like I just, I st and sometimes I steal money, you know, like I just see someone and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to take money from them. Comments are hilarious. I'm going through here actually replying to people and it, it, I took a short while where I wasn't replying to comments because people were being stupid about like stuff that is very personal to me. I, I stand up for myself, I guess I could say, but like, I mean, like something like that. Um, I didn't want my mom to come on here and see me literally cussing at people. Um, I don't cuss, but some of you guys, it's its the closest I could get to punching you in the face. I'm going over some of these comments and some of these are fantastic. Like people's assumptions, people's beliefs, people's like very strong opinions about stuff they either don't know, don't understand, or just make assumptions about. It's phenomenal, it's fantastic. But that one was awesome since they watched my channel and they're such cool people. Okay, so I, I know what this guy is talking about. Scott Wheatley is asking, I made a video once where I was talking about how I was having trouble sleeping recently, and um, he's asking if I think that drinking coffee at night might have something to do with uh, the fact that I, I'm having trouble sleeping. Uh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, how could coffee possibly affect my 
you know, sleeping. Like, I don't, I don't know what he's talking about, guys. Uh, so no, no, I have, I have no idea what you're talking about. No. Proper explanation. Doesn't have a question, but he has a good statement. You should do an update walk around of your Jeep setup. He is exactly right. I need to. But on top of that, if you really want to see a video of my recent, most recent setup, it, it's a mess and that's, I'm still organizing it, hence why it's um, not really, I haven't done one yet because even I'm trying to figure out the setup. Um, I don't feel like this is what I want. I'm just kind of like playing around. But if you want to see a video, Jeep Rome, his name is Jeep. I'm, I'm not, I'm not pulling your leg. If you look up Jeep Rome, if I remember to tag him, I will. I forgot to tag him in like all my other videos, but Jeep did a video while we were in Broken Bow and he actually did do a walk around on my Jeep. It was a phenomenal video. It, like, I'm not pulling your leg. It was a great video, guys. Go check out his channel. Um, like I said, um, somebody remind me if I don't, or Jeep, Jeep remind me if I don't tag you in this video, I'm sorry. Um, just remind me and I'll do it. He has a walk around. If you want to see a walk around, it's, it's there. Major weakness. He asked what bolt was on when I blo I broke a bolt recently um, when I was in Sherman, Texas. I broke the head off and actually I didn't explain it all to you guys. Um, I didn't realize I was so like irritated at the time. I didn't realize what I missed. My harmonic balancer bolt. The bolt when me and Parker put the new harmonic ba balancer on, we installed it wrong. The bolt we put it in crooked and we jammed it in. I had a breaker bar and I was trying to loosen it out. It was all I could do and the head broke off with the harmonic balancer. How I ended up getting it off is I pulled off the harmonic balancer with the removal tool um, and then after that I screwed the thing on and I I got some vice grips and I grabbed it and I just kind of beat it with a hammer until I was able to twist it all the way out. The new bolt went in just fine and I haven't had a problem since, thank goodness. That That's what happened though. Wonder Fro World asked if I would show off Warren Carroll's setup and uh, I forgot. I was going to in Broken Bow and I completely forgot, but I, I, I'll see if I can do it soon. Again, um, I might need to be reminded. I like my brain, I get, I, I've been doing a lot of stuff recently, so I keep like, I'm a little bit like overwhelmed, so I, I forget a lot of stuff. It's a very bad habit. Hannah Hayes says, hey Trevor, quick question. When you get famous and start teaming up with Mr. Beast, don't forget. I'm not gonna team up with Mr. Beast probably ever, but no, even after I supposedly get famous, I'm not gonna forget you. I don't think that's how getting famous works. So John Lane asks, how much true off-roading do I really do? I guess to find true off-roading, that would be a good question. Um, I guess everyone has their preferences. I personally hate mud with a passion. I hate mud. Now, if I had like an ATV or something, I, I bet mud would be fun because it's just a bunch of plastic that you can hose off. But mud just destroys stuff. Um, I used to like mudding, kind of, but uh, it, it's just not impressive anymore. It's like kind of a redneck thing and the cleanup is awful. On top of that, since I live in my Jeep, mud is just, just another thing that just needs clean it's terrible I, I hate mud um, I like trail running trail runs are my favorite so far um, but even then yeah I have to be a little careful like I have to remind you guys I live in my Jeep and as much as I love going on the trails I, I have to you know try to prevent risks from happening um, so far the most intense trail I've gone on is definitely Hell's Revenge um, I definitely did unpack a lot of stuff to try to lighten the load a bit, but as far as how often I go on trails, as often as I can, but like I said, it depends on your, depends on your definition of trail, because some people's definition of a trail is nothing you can't do in two-wheel drive, and some people's definition of a trail is like, I mean, then again, people do Hell's Revenge in two-wheel drive, and that's still a pretty intense trail. I don't know, but not very often, I guess. Backcountry Daily says that I should go hunting and make a video about it. Take me, take me hunting, please. Actually, I would love to do that. I just, I've, I, I, I've literally never gone hunting. Um, please take me. Let's go to like Yellowstone. Let's freaking do it. Let's go. I, I'm so down for that. I'm gonna buy another bow. We should go bow hunting. Ammunition's too expensive now. Nah. Arrows almost cost as much ammunition at this point. Like bullets are expensive now. It's stupid. Ugh, hate it. No, but I wasn't wrong. Thank you.